What's going on guys, it's no Fear Be Strong here, and today I got an update for you. As you can see in the bottom right corner of my screen, you are seeing Solomon's General Store. It is the update that just came out, pretty much like 10 minutes ago, me and Tyler are one of the very first people on the game to see it. They also added in the 10 year veteran cape, which you could also buy off Huns or Hans, whatever you want to call them. It's, um, you know, it's a pretty big accomplishment to anyone that has it, sadly I don't have it, have it on this account. I actually have like 14 days left so I could even get the veteran cape because this was uh, also like one of my, uh, I think I had like three or four accounts whenever I first started the game. But anyways, back on to the update. So I'm guessing the Solomon's General Store is just another way for Jagex to make more money. Now it has a customization option. Now basically in here you can, I guess, buy outfits. It's basically just cosmetic items that Jagex thinks will be worth money. So, for example, they have the cabaret outfit, which I guess is, you know, an old classic outfit for people to wear. Um, they have the feline outfit, which is very gay. You're like a cat. Uh, you have the swashbuckler, which looks like kind of like a pirate slash like thief outfit. They have the uh, Colosseum, which I'm guessing is like, you know, back in the old Roman days and stuff, like uh, Julius Caesar. Is that Julius Caesar? Yeah, Julius Caesar is Roman. Alright. <laughs> they have uh, Gothic. I actually don't see how that is Gothic at all. Uh, he's wearing a light blue with a red vest. That is not Gothic. They had to fix that. Assassin. I'm guessing that's some type of assassin. Um, and then you can just pick individual items. Just stuff like this. Uh, revolutionary hat. The mask and the hat. And just stuff like that. They have uh, uh, outfits. Um, you could also access your titles from here, which is, uh, I guess that's okay, you don't actually have to buy them from this point, you could just uh, access these instead of actually having to go to Varrock Square or wherever the guy is to, you know, access your titles. Um, and then last, which I think is cool, but it's the fact that they added in the buying option for this, there's different animations for your skills slash teleports. You can um, buy stuff for your ant mining, which is like a headbutt mining, I guess that's how you mine the ore, is I'm guessing you break it with your head. Um, that's probably not safe. You could probably get a concussion that way. Um, lumberjack woodcutting. That looks pretty cool, but, you know, once again, you have to pay for it. Slayer battle cry. I don't see what the point of that is. It's kind of just like a cheer remote. Deep sea fishing. Um, I'm guessing that just, you know, increases the animation effect on your fishing when you go luring or you, uh, you know, just basically like that, like whenever you're, uh, you know, fishing or whatever. And then your uh, potion making, which is basically like, uh, doing like herb lore and stuff like that. I don't understand what the point of that is. And then uh, there's different teleports, which is like the infernal teleport, the uh, Pegasus teleport, the assassin teleport, and you could uh, improve your high alchemy, which is it's pretty cool looking, but it's uh, also not, you know, um, the greatest update just because of the whole paying for it option. Now, as you could see in the corner, they had to add the uh, open shop in there because obviously in order to get these things you need to buy them now overall this is just another way of Jagex saying to us that hey we want your money we want anything uh, that has to do with money so we're just gonna keep coming out with updates with you know shops first it was the squeal of fortune you know buying spins now it is Solomon general store which also they can make money off of now I have my friend Tyler in the call and I'm going to let him give you know a few thoughts on it if he wants to well, one of the thoughts I thought was, uh, I think they personally, one of the J mods modeled the mining with their head emote because it looks really accurate to what the fuck I want to do. <sighs> this update makes me mad. It makes me think, okay, this game was based so long off of a no real world trade basis. Now, all of a sudden, because Inside Ventures decides, eh, well, everyone knows we're in charge of Jagex now, so. Let's go and make it another Maple Story. That's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of fucking Maple Story. And I know I'm getting ranty and angry right now, but this is what I'm thinking. Jagex is going to make this basically Maple Story with a hot bar and, you know, dual wield weapons. So basically, they're going to try and get fan base from fucking World of Warcraft to come over here, play this game, buy all the cosmetics, and then quit one week later. <clears throat> All these scam your fucking scam your players schemes that Jagex keeps getting it's getting ridiculous. It's making players such as myself who actually 
earn their items, and I know these items aren't obtainable anywhere else except for the Solomon General Store, but it, it makes a big difference in the overall mood of the community. It really does. <clears throat> if you think about it, you're selling some... Well, some of these outfits look pretty nice. I'll admit that. But you're selling them for inner life money, which Jagex, I believe... How was it? For the past six years, have strictly said they were on a no microchance action policy. So, pretty much, yeah. Jagex, way to say your, uh... <clears throat> Keep up your policies, and good luck on being hypocrites in the future. Yeah! Alright, there's uh, Tyler's opinion on the update now. Basically, my recap on his is just the same thing. It's just, this game always has emphasized, you know, the no real-world trading, no... Any, you know, implications of spending money, real-life real money, for any type of items in the game, yet Jagex does it themselves. I know their rules don't apply, like, honestly... You know, Mod Mark could just get on right now and just go bot account 99 everything, and nothing would, you know, go against him. I understand it's their game. They could do what they want. But, you know, the game was always against real world trading, and yet they still do it, and they still give, you know, pretty much monthly updates that involve real world trading that take our money. It's not like our $8 a month is already enough to them. They make millions and millions of dollars just off our little monthly donations for membership. Now, I understand that they put money into the game that you know requires you know that for them either they require money to like do updates and stuff like that so they need our money but it's not like they need more money for squeal of fortune in the solomon's general store you know it's just stuff like that that um jagex keeps adding into the game that is pretty much pointless and is unneeded so that is my recap on today's update it's a uh, not a very good update i honestly don't like it uh, if I were to give it a rating, I could honestly just say, you know, one out of five. Zero. 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 Just <laughs> fuck this shit. <laughs> I'll give it a one out of five, just basically for the cosmetics. They look cool, but, you know, you're going to lose four out of five of them stars just because the fact that you have to pay real life money for it. That's going to be the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the update. It wasn't really a uh, very serious and in-depth recap on it. It was just to let you guys know what happened and my thoughts on it. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Comment if you have any suggestions for videos. Like the video if you like the video. And of course, subscribe if you like my videos and you want to continue seeing them. I'm No Fear Be Strong. That was my friend Tyler. Th hope you guys enjoyed the video. See ya.